and welcome back with this next video. I've learned something new. Over the years, everyone always comes to me and asks, how do I get these images to work in Mugen? It's been an ongoing issue for a lot of people because they can't afford the high-end software. Um, I found an application that actually works and it's called XNView. This application has been around since like 1998 and I never knew or even tried it, but it's free. It's free to download and um, use. Um, I'm going with the portable apps version here. If you go to portableapps.com, you can go to apps, scroll down, and you will find it right here, XNView Portable. You use a portable app if you don't want to install to the computer, and the file size is also much smaller. So going over to that, this is what you would get here. You double click, portable hit next, it goes to the download space, and it installs just like that and you get a folder. So everything is here and nothing else is anywhere else. I'm gonna open the app. This is how it looks when you start up for the first time. Tip of the day, don't show me again. And it starts with the browser. I'm gonna close the browser because I don't need the browser. Now going back here, this is a sprite file of Jimmy Lee from uh, Rage of Dragon. And as you can see, I can't open an iDraw. I like using iDraw as my, my failsafe. If iDraw can open it, I can open it in Mugen. Mugen will play it, no issues. But right now it's giving me a 24-bit image error. So I can't use it. I drag it to XN View Classic. I go to Image. I go to Convert to Colors. And then I could pick how many colors I want it to be. I'm going to zoom in just so you can see the change in detail here. I don't know what that is. Okay, so colors, and I'm going to put it to eight colors only. Apply to image, and that's how Jamie would look at eight colors. And you can use dittering to see different results and how it would look with different things. I'm quite amazed, honestly, how well this application converts sprites from high res colors to low res color. Like, this looks phenomenal. Like, I can take this and use it for like an 8-bit game or version of a game and it'll look amazing. But I'm not doing that though, so no dittering. I want 256 and I'll hit apply. Then I'll hit file and save. Yes, I want to override it. And now I'm going to close this and I'm going to open that same image just like last time. And now it opens an eye draw. The palette is messed up. But that's a sacrifice you might be willing to take. Everything is used because everything here has colors that it's using. It's, it's shading and coloring all of this and this. So like I do in my other tutorials, if you want to remove these things before you index it, then that by all means, please do. You'll get the best results that way. But this works. You can do this and you can go on and continue your character without issue. Your palette's going to be a mess but it'll get you going and starting your ways getting past this point with sprites and converting them is the hardest part when you start coding it becomes so fun and you just learn so much and it's it's a fun time seeing your creation come to life and this is i don't know what this is that looks horrible but that's it for the video i just wanted to share what i recently discovered which has been existing for i don't even know like 20 something odd years but uh, yeah, give it a shot. It's free. No loss.